All right, we are live. Um, Ryan, I sent you a question. Please respond. What was the uh, through email through on here? What was the thing? If you could uh, just kind of respond there, I'm not sure. So we'll just kind of let some people come in here and whatever else. Not going to be anything real major, major. I did hear about one interesting piece of information about the Dr. Fauci guy. So going to be showing some proof on that um, here in a little bit. But uh, so just let some people come in. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, so. Hi, everybody. Okay. Trying to do other things here. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, what flag is behind me? It's the B flag for Bavaria. It's where my ancestors come from. Still no glasses. Well, there I have my glasses. They're right there. I just don't wear them while I'm working at the computer. So. The weather's been kind of weird here. Um, about two weeks ago, we actually had 20 inches of snow. So, a lot of snow. Between 18 and 20 inches, somewhere in there. Um, what? But uh, then here just a few days ago, we had another 7 inches of snow. So, it's supposed to be up into the mid-50s today, Fahrenheit. So, it should melt a lot of it. Um, Uh, I keep thinking this whole virus thing is a global agenda. What are your thoughts on that, Brian? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely putting people under house arrest and, um, you know, you can't leave your home and whatever else. I mean, you know, you put criminals on house arrest. It's, I mean, they're violating so many laws by doing this. And, and you look into who's behind it. It's the Jesuits. You know, there's no question. You know, I'm going to be showing a little bit of proof from that, um, a proof of that, not from that, proof of that here in just a, a, a little bit. So, um, another Wayne here. Um, have you seen what they're saying about 5G and hotspots around the world in this coronavirus relating to it? Yeah, I have looked into it a little bit. Uh, it's, it's very, very interesting. Uh, the 5G thing is a millimeter wave technology. It's actually originally designed as a as a weapon for the military i think between the israeli you know military and the american military um very interesting i actually saw there's a dr devra davis she spoke in melbourne australia um her videos on youtube and she said that they're going to basically need 50 billion 50 billion 5g not towers but whatever the little things are um they're going to need 50 billion of them you know, to implement what, you know, the Internet of Things, Mark of the Beast, you know, the, the elimination of free will. So, um, so yeah, it's kind of a, hmm. Um, did you watch the two vids I linked relating to the coronavirus? No, I did not have time to watch theirs. Oh, there's just, there's so much stuff coming out right now. It just makes my head spin. Um, I mean, we're, we're, Coming up, you know, we used to come up every couple of days. We're going to be coming up a little bit more once 
the snow is gone here because I have some work I need to do around this place. Um, so we'll see then. Um, but, it, you know, just thought I would, there's one video I definitely want to be sharing here and uh, just want to see how everybody's doing out there. Um, so, but we're seeing some weird um, things disappearing at the grocery store, which is kind of a, I don't know if anybody else has seen any, any, you know, you walk through the grocery store, you know, the toilet paper thing still hasn't really come back that much, but uh, I don't know if anybody else is seeing that um, still the, the toilet paper thing. I mean, we live up here in the middle of nowhere, so I don't know if anybody else is seeing that, but um, we're also seeing things like uh, any kind of baking supplies, flour, uh, yeast, whatever else. It's just gone. Yeah. No, no flour in the UK. Yeah. I don't understand. You know, I, I guess, I guess maybe, you know, people are trying to stock up on food for the future or something. Um, hmm. So you're seeing it in New Jersey as well. That's interesting. I wonder why. I mean, yeah, I, I don't, I don't understand. I mean, I guess, you know, maybe people made bread in the past or something, but usually it's just, I didn't think people were making bread that much for themselves, but, um, yeah, meat production is headed, heading toward disaster if the processing plants do not open back up. Yep. You know, Uh, phony virus has been planned for a long time here in South Africa. The country went to the IMF with a 500 billion rand bailout. Yeah, well, I'm going to show you that uh, the proof here in just a couple minutes, you know, let people come in and everything else. Um, I'm going to show you the proof here that actually uh, Fauci, this Dr. Fauci, the Jesuit, spoke at the Jesuit Georgetown University and said about that there's going to be a surprise outbreak, and he said it back in 2017. So, yeah, they've known about it for a while. It's all planned. Um, um, bringing your Bible to the grocery store was a great suggestion for witnessing. Thank you. Well, praise the Lord. That's great. Question, have they forced you to wear a mask in the store? Um, they are forcing us over here in California. No, they haven't yet. Um, it's it's kind of mixed. There's some people that are, some people are not. Um, do you or Sister Catherine know anything about these drones donated to the U.S. by DGI? I haven't been able to find any more info on them. Uh, no idea. I have. I'm not really sure, honestly. Um, <laughs> yep, <laughs> exactly. It's so funny that the same post Trump pastors that say they will fight the Antichrist are buying of the government right now. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you know, like I've said in my different videos, if I really believed that I was going to go into the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, tribulation, whatever else, man, I'd be just a fanatic. I wouldn't be on YouTube. I'd be out in the middle of nowhere prepping and all that other stuff. So, yeah. Um, whoops, missed that one. Sorry, I just skipped up. Um, but there's also a strong Amish community with small businesses around. Talk, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting you bring up the Amish because here in Maine, there's a number of Amish communities, and there's one down in Smyrna, Maine. And um, there was a book years ago, Eric Brendy, he was an MIT um, graduate, and he went to live among the Amish, and it was called Better Off Flipping the Switch on Technology, is his book. And he said, I'm not going to name the, you know, 
Amish community, but it's in Northern Maine and everything. There's only a couple up here. And um, I talked to one of the guys from the Smyrna uh, Amish commune. And he said, yeah, he said, this is where he was at. Definitely. And, um, but I actually went, they have a store called Pioneer Place. I got video of it. I might upload it, make a video quick of it. But the Pioneer Place, they're doing the whole social distancing. We can only allow so many people inside the store and all I mean, everything that everybody else is doing. Uh, an Amish store. So don't fall for the thing of Amish or nonconformist because that's not true. They are very much conformist. They will do whatever they're told. Uh, brother, off topic question. Do Jews have to be saved by Jesus or will they ascend to heaven by something else? No, they have to be saved by Jesus. Jesus is their Messiah. Um, Without Jesus, they go to hell. Simple. Um, that's what Peter preached in Acts chapter 4. You know, there's not another other name given among men whereby we must be saved. Um, question, are you going to allow anyone to join the stream, Brian? Um, I might. I'm not. I don't really have any plans for this. Um, I saw, I think you posted a, a comment on, on one of the videos, something about the, the whole new IFB thing or whatever else. Um, you know, there's I, I'm watching some of the videos on that whole thing. A lot of the stuff that's coming out. I knew it would. You know, that they're just they just look so crooked. You know, I've been I've been on Anderson's case since 2009, known he's a fraud. <clears throat> so um, I don't know. I don't know what, if uh, I'm going to open it up later on or not. I'm not sure. Um In that link I shared, it has a legitimate news clip showing the drones. It's police using drones to enforce social distancing, allegedly as part of the DGI disaster relief program. I, I haven't looked into it. I'm not. I'm not denying it. I'm sure that it's probably there, you know. But um, hmm. Social, social distancing is to prepare, prepare us for 5G. 5G can't go through water, so if we all stay six feet apart, it's easier for 5G to track us and ensure we all get our healthy dose of RF. I, I've heard that. Um, yeah. Uh, GoFundMe page still available? Yes, as far as I know. I think it is. Um, question. The scripture says all. Does that include the saved? Revelation 21, verse 8. We all shall have their part in the Lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. No, that's that's um, let me look up the verse real quick here. Uh, Revelation 21, verse 8. Uh, it, it, uh, you know, let me do the share screen thing here so I can, um, Okay. Revelation 21, verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Read the context. Um, it's, it's all liars. It's all the evil are going to have their part in the lake of fire. So, no. But while I'm here... Um, I might as well just go ahead uh, and show this thing here. Um, this is uh, Dr. Fauci. This is Global Georgetown, February 14th, 2017. Everybody can see that right there. Okay. Um, listen to what he says here. Of serving in five administrations. Uh Okay, can everybody hear that? Did everybody hear what he was saying there? Say it in the comments if you did. Can you hear the, the voice? Okay, good. Um, but he he served in five administrations. Okay. I you know, I've seen people say it's called, you know, the deep state there, whatever else, you know, in the government there for a while, but 
if you haven't seen this, I know somebody said there you saw this, but just continue here. Um, I thought I would bring that perspective to the topic today is the issue of pandemic uh, preparedness. And if there's one message that I want to leave with you today based on my experience, and you'll see that in a moment, is that there is no question that there will be a challenge to the coming administration in the arena of infectious diseases, both chronic infectious diseases in the sense of already ongoing disease. Uh, there will be a challenge for the coming administration. Okay. Well, listen to what he says next. And we have certainly a large burden of that. But also there will be a surprise outbreak. And I a surprise outbreak. 2017, speaking to Jesuits. And remember my video that I brought out saying that, you know, showing that the black Pope saying, you know, if we try to go back, you know, that the next one will be worse. You know, so yeah, right there you go. Um, you know, if people people attacked me for years on this thing of I go after the Jesuits and say the Jesuits are wicked, their Jesuits are corrupt, you know, and they attacked me and attacked me and attacked me. You know, old Dunlinger thinks the Jesuits are behind everything. Uh, I show the proof, you know, I show people that are connected to the Jesuits. Um, yeah. So I'll stop sharing here. But uh, Yep. So, you know, our job as Christians for, for whatever time we have left here, we have to fight the Antichrist system. We just have to hinder it. We can't stop it. You know, he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way and then shall that we can be revealed. Second Thessalonians chapter two. We're not going to stop the Antichrist system, but um, uh, we can hinder it. Um, and we should do that because when we leave, people need to say, okay, those people were resisting. And that's that's the important thing, I believe, there. But uh, saw another video today um, about the Anderson guy that took over Donnie Romero's church, and he did the. I guess somehow the um, um, somehow I guess his contractor or somebody brought out some some checks. And he's done in 2019 alone, he, he put over 220 some thousand dollars into his house in updates. You know, and, and I saw some guy in the comments literally said he used to go to that church and he said that they made something like fifty thousand dollars a month. It's not even Anderson's church, it's not even the big one in the new IFB. You know, so these guys are just they're raking in all kinds of money. It's just wow. So um yeah. But uh, see in here. Did I? Did you watch my vid on where the Antichrist will come from? No, I didn't. Um, like I said, it's I'm trying to get through things. People send me links to stuff all the time. Um, yep. But uh Okay, it's an hour. See if I can fit it in. I have I have another brother that sent a video to me about the thing of uh, our gospel tracks. I have it up here. Um, should we hand out you know tracks or whatever? Um, our gospel tracks, scriptural and things. 
That's an interesting question. Something to think about, certainly. Um, so, I don't know. You know, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I can definitely give that scripture, um, certainly. Um, so, I don't know. Um, Arresting people for being in parks while releasing criminals in mass. I've heard of that. It's just, you know, you think, you know, just insane stuff that's going on. I heard that uh, there was some governor or something saying you couldn't buy uh, seeds or something like this because of the coronavirus thing. So. Uh, question. Do you keep up with all the updates about the vaccines being pushed? And Bill Gates pushing it extremely. Also, many unbelievers are realizing the scam and have even been attacking him on it. I, I've heard of it, but I, I haven't really looked into it. I mean, I, I know about Bill Gates. Bill Gates, certainly, he's he's definitely, um, you know, pretty corrupt individual, worthy of hell. Um, is Fauci a Jesuit? Yes. Yes. Um, Regis High School, which is a Jesuit preparatory school and then he went to the the church or the uh college of the holy cross i think it's called which is a jesuit school again i showed that before um he's definitely a jesuit no question about that um yeah i guess you know the the thing here uh, gospel tracks are a great way to get the gospel to get out the gospel the yeah I, I understand that but i think that the point that this one brother was making that sent me a video about it um uh he was basically saying can somebody get saved from a gospel tract you know and you can make arguments there whatever else that they should hear the word of god not be you know reading it or something like that you know so um because you have the ethiopian eunuch and um and he's he's there and he's in the chariot and he's reading isaiah 53 and you know philip comes over in acts chapter 8 and, and says understandest thou what thou readest and he says you know how can i accept some man guide me and he gets up and he expounds to him the scriptures so you know you can i mean you can make arguments you know different ideas and things there um question in Second Thess Thessalonians 2, verse 3, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. Is this before the catching up or the great tribulation? Um, it's the the whole thing of Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Um, let me um, let me go over that real quickly because it is an important thing. So 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, okay, without going into a huge big thing on this, um, up here in verses 1 and 2, they're receiving letters from fake Christians, and these fake Christians are basically saying, um, you know, that, hey, uh, this you're going to be going into this time, second coming is going to be happening and, happening, and Paul says, no, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. And he lists two things, except there come a falling away first, and the man of sin be revealed. Goes into who he is. Remember you not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And, and now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. There's something stopping the Antichrist from being revealed in the time where Jesus Christ's body is on the earth. Okay, and what is that? For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. The spirit of Antichrist. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. The body of Christ there in that context. We are hindering the Antichrist from showing up. And then shall that wicked be revealed after we're taken out of the way. Um, so that's a very important thing to understand there. Okay. So hopefully I've, you know, answered that. Um, so, yeah. And, you know, and the other thing, too, um, 
is the is you know if you just read revelation chapter 5 revelation chapter 4 john gets called up to heaven revelation chapter 5 there's the 24 elders and and uh you know multitude of angels around the throne and they're there before the antichrist is released in revelation chapter 6 so pretty easy to get um Yeah, very good point. All countries follow the same rules on COVID. So easy to see who controls the world of Rome. Just exactly what Revelation 17 says. You know, the whole world is controlled. You know, there's a woman and, um, you know, she uh, commits fornication with the kings of the earth. And all the people are made drunk by the, you know, that fornication. So, yeah, speaking of a spiritual sense. Um, what are, you, what are your thoughts on Bitcoin? Do you believe this would, would be the currency used for the mark of the beast? Um, there's definitely some stuff there with Bitcoin. It's a cryptocurrency. I'm, I I dabble in some of the economic type of stuff and whatever else. Um, but cryptocurrencies, uh, they're they're kind of bad because they're they're based on just computer generated worth essentially, without getting into a big thing on that. I think it could be. I think Bitcoin could be the system that they use. I'm not really sure exactly. Did you hear about the Pope asking Macron to be the world leader? No, I did not. I didn't hear about that. No. Um, would be interesting because Macron is is a Emmanuel Macron is a Jesuit. So <laughs> why not? Um, Okay, question. Do you think that the Jesuits could have been behind the creation of this virus thing? Absolutely. Yeah. I saw some stuff where Fauci, I guess, was something about he was involved with part of it. Um, yeah. Question. Why do people, why do you believe people reject Paul's revelations? Because there are people that do. Muslims do. Um, there's other people that say that they go with uh, the words of Jesus, not what Paul said. Um, Yeah. I, you know, people send me stuff, you know, I get sent all kinds of stuff. Um, in Revelation eleven eighteen, is this the great white throne judgment? If so, are there going to be some that are written in the book of life? Um, Revelation eleven eighteen. Can't just think of that verse right off the top of my head. The nations were angry and angry and thy wrath has come at the time of the dead that they should be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets and to the saints and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Uh, I know Revelation tells um, uh, um, I know Revelation kind of retells the events over and over again. It's not just chronological going the way, whole way through there. So, um, interesting thought on that, though. Um, uh, off topic, but do you know any good books on the Dead Sea Scrolls, or do you have a video about it? I think I I might have done a a uh, the FAQ series on that. I might have done just kind of uh, looked into it. But um, I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of thoughts on the whole Dead Sea Scrolls thing. Um, microchip, microchip party at some workplace was on the Today Show, conditioning the sheeple. <laughs> Not surprised. Um, I heard that in the first version of the 1611 Bible, the word used for falling away today was actually a different Greek word used then, which meant departure. Then it was changed. Any thoughts? Well, I'd have to check into that. I do have uh, actually a photographic copy of an original 1611 and uh, reprints of it and everything else. Um, so 
Helmet, brother, I'd like to share with you an official German document from the Bundestag 2013 where they prevent a SARS CoV and the measures. Hmm. Yeah, that'd be neat to see that. Uh, that'd be interesting. I think, you know, the government's definitely knew about this thing coming. Um, when will Christians be judged? Is it only the lost judge before the white, great white throne? Yes. The lost are, are lost people are judged at the great white throne judgment, Revelation 20. Uh, saved people are judged at the judgment seat of Christ. Okay. Which so would be, I don't have my actual study Bible here. It's mentioned in 1 Corinthians 3. Um, Yeah, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 10 down through about 17 is where it talks about, you know, this judgment that's coming. And, and I think it's in Romans, someplace in Romans, I think. Let me see here real quickly. I think it's Romans 14. Yeah, Romans 14, um, verse 10. But why dost thou judge thy brother, or why dost thou set it not thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. So, yeah, Christians get judged by Jesus Christ in terms of your works that lead to rewards. Uh, your works are judged. You are not judged. Okay. Great White Throne Judgment. They're actually judged um, by their works you know, because they don't have Jesus Christ. The Lord says, okay, you know, you were working your way to heaven. Well, you're working your way to hell um, is the truth of it. Oh. Okay. I, actually, I'll show that one. Where, what place would you recommend for gospel tracks? I'm big on using those things. Well, um, uh, that, I keep going to push the thing off. Hold on a second here. Um, uh, Fellowship Track League is pretty good. Check tracks, I don't recommend anymore because they have the Godhead. They don't, you know, don't show the Godhead. They show um, the Trinity, and then they do graven images as well of what this Jesus guy looked like. It's the same Jesus of the Catholic Church. So. I don't mess with check tracks, but fellowship track league. Um, again, you know, I, I'll, I'll look into people what they say about, you know, you shouldn't use gospel tracks. It should be hearing the word of God. And I'll, I'll listen to arguments and things back and forth. I'm interested in that stuff. Um, so, uh, man, a lot of comments coming up here. Gene Kim said that said the saints that get beheaded will get judged at the great white throne as well. That didn't make sense to me. Saints are going to be judged there. I don't know where on earth you came up with that one. Um, the image of the beast is given life by the false prophet and it has power to kill. I think the beast could be an android. Um, quite possibly, yeah. Some kind of a a um, weird, you know, whatever you call it, uh, artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence robot. Yeah. How's the sea of comments? Always raging like a waves of the sea. <laughs> yeah, it's always fun. Um, a judgment seat of Christ if you have a fake Bible. Yeah. Um, Hebrews 10 29 covenant here is applied to the Jews only or is this covenant pertaining to the blood Jesus shed for the church well let me look at it here Hebrews 10 29 the old uh, sea of comments um, tends to get my mind all mixed up after a while of how much sore punishment suppose ye shall he be thought Worthy who hath trodden underfoot the Son of God and hath counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing and hath done despite under the spirit of grace. Jews in the time of Jacob's trouble. That's who that's written to. Um, question What are your favorite preachers? Well, I've had a lot of favorite preachers that I've had to come out and just say, I can't really recommend them. Jack Hiles was actually one of my favorite preachers for a while. For not not very long, but <laughs> because I found out about the truth. They actually preached in a pulpit 
in a Baptist church where Jack Hiles once preached. And I just I stood there and I was so honored, you know, and I'm thinking, man, Jack Hiles preaching this very pulpit. He stood right here. <laughs> Little did I know at the time. Um, but, uh, you know, just that's why I always hold up the King James Bible and say, there's your authority. Um, it's got to be about that. Every man has errors. Every single one, me included. Um, thoughts on storing extra food for the future. And yes, I know we will not go into the time of Jacob's trouble. Um, yeah, I think that there's some sound wisdom to the thing of storing food. I don't think you should just say, well, the grocery store is always going to be here. The Lord will always keep it going. Well, you know, look at the first Great Depression. Uh, most of those Christians back then were using the King James Bible. Very Most of the Christians rejected the revised version of 1881, 1884, and the, the American Standard Version of 1901. Most Christians rejected it. So... Um, and yet God let them go through the Great Depression. So uh, don't go hog wild. Don't go to Jim Baker and buy, you know, survival buckets or something. Bad idea. Um, but they're, you know, some staple foods like uh, pasta, you know, just noodles and things that you can make. Um, that doesn't go bad. That, that can last for years and years as long as you keep it in a good, you know, dry area. Um, beans. You know, dried beans, they'll last for a long time. Rice, uh, couscous is another one. Um, there's a lot of things that you can, you can, uh, you know, um, you can stock up on and whatever else. It's a good idea. What happened to my eyebrows? I don't know. Just, you know, lighting in here or something like that. I'm getting old, getting gray hair. So. Do you think this adrenochrome thing is true, that that was part of the creation of the, of the clown virus? Haven't heard of that. I, I don't know. Um, I've heard some of the stuff about, you know, the, how it was, you know, the coronavirus thing. It was mixed with a bunch of other stuff and whatever. Um, so. Uh. Question, when is it okay to stop witnessing to someone after they refuse it to listen a few times, worrying about my parents? Um, it's it's different with your parents because you know you're dealing with family there, you know, and honoring your parents and, and things. Um, you know, so I, I can understand the thing about parents. That's that can be tricky at times. Um, but if you're if you're dealing with people that are out in public, you know, uh, Titus chapter uh, three, I think it is, talks about the man that is in heretic after the first and second admonition to reject, you know, and you'll see the thing of, you know, two or three witnesses in the Bible. Um, so I would say two times, third time you say, okay, that's my last time. Goodbye. It's always been kind of the way I've, I've done that. Um, <sighs> Have you seen some of the interviews with Dr. Andrew Kaufman, how he shows how the virus has never been isolated? Sorry if you already answered. I haven't seen those, but I have heard that, that they never even went through the proper channels to prove that it, the, COVID-19 is even a real virus. Um, yeah. Louis Pasteur's uh, methodology to come up with the, is it a real virus or not? Um, so. You ever going to release any books? If we ever have time, I don't know. I don't know if there's that much time in the world left, to be quite honest. Um, 
by the way, if you want me to answer your question, the best thing to do is just write question and then write what your question is. That way I can see a little bit easier. Um, what are your thoughts about watch women and watch men on YouTube always strictly giving updates on world events? Yeah, you know, Paul Begley, you know, is kind of the drama queen of that whole system. Um, you just, you know, you start uh, getting away from the Bible and you start getting into the whole, I mean, news media is so dangerous. It's, it's, there's so much propaganda with it. So if you're always looking into that stuff to see what's the latest and everything else, dangerous. Um, they are telling us to wear masks at work from Monday on. You think I should quit that job? Well, if you can get another job that doesn't require masks, then yes. If not, I would just simply say, hey, you know, I don't believe in this. I believe in natural health. And I think putting something on my mouth that's going to restrict my oxygen intake, I think is going to be a bad idea. It's going to actually lower my immune system and and it's not even effective. You know, do some research. If I had a job someplace and they were saying you have to wear this this mask or whatever, this face mask thing, just look into the thing of it's not effective. Number one, it's not going to protect me from the virus. Number two, um, you know, there's actually some proof. Uh, I saw that the, some they did some testing with people that actually had the coronavirus thing where they were coughing and whatever else with a mask on. And it was not really even effective, you know, at blocking it from coming out and whatever else. So do some research and just say, you know, it's I can't have this thing on my mouth. It's creating a, a warm, moist area that could breed bacteria and viruses. And it's just it's cutting off my oxygen supply. It's ineffective. Um, uh, are babies born sinful? Well, everybody's born with a sin nature. Um, so yeah, I mean they're they're not, you know, they're not going to be held accountable. Um, so because they don't understand that they violated God's laws and things like that. I've, you know, talked about that. Baptist House Church, how can you be pre-trib rapture when 2 Thessalonians says different? Really? Where's pre-trib rapture at in 2 Thessalonians? It's not in there. Okay. Uh, I've talked about this thing and talked about this thing and talked about this thing. You have to go beyond verse 3. Okay. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Watch the early part of this, this video. I've got a lot of videos on it. You should be ashamed of yourself unless you just are brand new. Come around. Um, Christians are in heaven before the Antichrist is released. Okay, the 24 elders, the great multitude, or the, the number of angels there, 10,000 times 10,000, round about the throne. They're there in Revelation 5. Revelation 6 is when the Antichrist is unleashed. Shame on you for being a post trevor Good night. Okay. Um, uh, Brian, what are your takes on, about the book of Enoch? It's false. Written after the Bible is completed. Um, there's no such thing as, as the book of Enoch. You know, Jude, the book of Jude references Enoch speaking, but it's not the book of Enoch. Okay. Shouldn't mess with it. I did a video about it and um, on one of my FAQ videos, and it's just fake. Um, do you think Purell hand sanitizer is bad for your skin? If yes, why? If it's antibacterial, then yes, because you have healthy bacteria on you and your in, in your body and everything else. Um, you don't want to kill that stuff off. Okay. Um, yeah. Any good hunting up there in northern Maine? Yes, there's a lot of good hunting up in northern Maine. Unfortunately, not many deer because the logging industry up here has pretty much slaughtered the, the deer by they log like crazy and then they come in and they, they want to get rid of weeds like, you know, wild red raspberries. And so they spray glyphosate Roundup. They spray it all over what they just logged and then the deer come in to eat plants and then they die. So the, the deer population is not so good. Moose, yeah, there's a, a bunch of moose. Um, question, I asked, but I didn't get a clear answer. Should I baptize myself, yay, nay, why, or why not? 
Um, baptism is not necessary for salvation. Um, you know, if you can, if you feel it's a really important thing or whatever else, well, you know, try to find a Bible believing Christian in your area or, you know, whatever. It's not part of your salvation. Um, question first off, love your work. Praise the Lord. With that said, have you seen the 2012 Olympic ceremony where it appears to be a virus with hospital beds? It's crazy. False. Um, no, I don't think I've seen that. Question. I have heard you say that Jesus said to buy a sword, but isn't that to fulfill prophecy? I'm struggling about New Testament and using arms. Having seems to be good. Not sure about using. Um, well, understanding throughout history that Christians have had to go through some pretty violent times. Um, it's what Jesus was saying about selling your cloak and, and buying a sword in Luke chapter 22. It's talking about, you know, when I'm gone, you know, there's going to be some pretty rough times coming for you. So, um, you know, it's it is up to uh, the individual. There are some people that have gone out as as pacifists and they, they get killed and whatever else and they die for Jesus Christ. That's fine. Whatever. That's what you feel the Lord's called you to do. Or, you know, OK. But um, if there's you know, I would say don't rise up against the government, so to speak, and let's get Christians together and arm ourselves and march on the Capitol building or something. You know, let's 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 put an end to the coronavirus quarantine thing by. By getting Christians to come here and I'll lead the army and, and we'll get, you know, uh, 500, you know, Bible believers together with AR-15 or something and march on the Capitol. No, no, <laughs> okay, no, no. Um, but if you are armed and things break down and people are going around and rioting and looting and whatever else and you have to hold somebody at gunpoint and say, hey, stop and they're whacked out on drugs or something they're not in their right mind, and they're trying to, to kill you or your family, and you have to shoot them, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I don't believe that there is for one minute. i um, trying to see and get here to other people's questions. Um, So make sure I get I'm seeing somebody asking questions. Um I can check out your book up. Uh, let me think here. Um see if I can find it real quickly. I know I did. I did one of. I think it's called "What About the Book of Enoch." But let me just let me check on that. Yeah, FAQ number three. Um, seven minutes and two seconds long. Um, share screen. Uh, Right here it is. All right. Okay. Right there. I have the book of Enoch right on the table in front of me. Right there. You can see I have the book of Enoch. I actually read a little bit from it. Uh, it's Kookyville. Okay. It's not any good. And you have uh, Robert Breaker. Um, Robert Breaker, you know, says about, you know, he, he actually says about it's, it's uh, quoted in the book of Enoch or something like that. So. Um, you know, he acts like it's in the Bible. So, yeah. Well, FAQ number 13, more on the book of Enoch. Yeah, okay, I forgot about that one. Chantre, thank you for putting that there, that link. And uh, thanks for what you sent, by the way, Chantre. Just got to say that um, bookmark was really neat. So my wife took that one. <laughs> 
just she liked that one very much the bookmark there so um i get in better contact with you brian i'd like to actually talk with you sometime like on skype or some sort of live stream um yeah i don't have a problem with that it's just kind of hard for me right now to set things up so uh, I was asked this earlier, but I'll just repeat it. Brother Brian, is your GoFundMe page still a good place for donations? Yeah, it is. Um, uh, PayPal still working right now, but um, it's a good place because we're we're really really um, we're really going to try to get a new office down our way. Uh, we're we're wanting to build a, a house on our property. You know, a cabin. It's not a big regular house. It's just going to be a log cabin. Um, we're really wanting to get started on that. Found a really neat place on the land where we'd like to build at. Um, haven't been able to check it out, you know, since the snow's melting. We're going to wait till the snow's totally gone to be able to go down and check it out. There's a spring right nearby it. So a really neat site. But we're just, we're so tired of this hour and a half drive. And there's people I need to talk to, people I need to interview. It's really neat stuff that could come out. And it's just, I can't be here past about four o'clock um in the afternoon because then i have to go an hour and a half home and it's just the stress of you know we we buy something you know online and it's shipped here ups and then you're thinking okay and there's times we've actually gotten here and they say oh we delayed the shipment till tomorrow and you think oh man <laughs> it just wears us out so we're really trying hard this year to get something close to our property and um, there's a, there's a number of abandoned places on our road actually um, just to kind of update everybody, I'm going to be, be making an actual update video. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, there's actually a few abandoned places on our property. And so we're trying to contact the town office, which they're closed right now because of this whole baloney virus thing. Um, uh, and we're trying to contact them, say, are there any tax acquired properties and stuff? So it's in process. We're saving up our money, everything you know, we can. So yeah, the GoFundMe thing is a good idea. I will be updating my information on that soon. So, um, will you be accepting the stimulus payment? I've, I've heard of the whole thing, but I have not, you know, I've, I've seen some people say that they're actually getting the thing and I'm thinking, I haven't gotten anything about that yet. More than likely, I'm not, uh, I'm not, um, you know, I guess necessary or something. So they probably won't send it to me. <laughs> so, um, Brian, I ordered us uh, some Camu Camu berry powder a few days ago. I had a sore throat a few weeks ago. I ate some of the powder and it was gone completely the next day. Yay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Camu Camu, you know, powder is unreal. Um, you know, Yeah. Um, in your question, in your opinion, what do you think is the preferred age to start preaching? Well, that's going to depend on the person. Um, I think that you have to go through some life experiences, kind of, you know, as I always joke, I say you need to have some character. This will build character. You know, well, I'm joking, but there is some truth to that. You, you have to kind of go through some things and, and um, um, you know, so, uh, you know, I, I would say, you know, you look at the life of Jesus, you know, 30 years old, you know, is when he started his earthly ministry. I mean, he would have been qualified to start a lot younger, but he didn't. Um, but he still was there asking the doctors of the law questions as a boy. So it's perfectly fine to preach in the, in the sense of speaking to people about the word of God at any age. That's fine. But when you're dealing with a man going into, say, a full-time ministry, kind of an elder position, I think 30 years old is definitely appropriate. Before that, I think it's dangerous to go into full-time ministry. You just have, don't have enough life experience. Um, so, yeah. Uh, okay.
Um, uh, okay, oops. Sorry, I didn't mean to click on yours. Um, I keep doing it. Every time I go to click on it, <laughs> uh, what's your Skype username and what days and time would be best to contact the fellowship? Well, that, I'm not really going to give that on a live stream. You know, um, yeah. Um, so it's, again, you know, until we really get another place um, down closer to our property there, I'm going to be able to contact a lot more people uh, when we have something closer. I mean, I'll be, you know, right now, like I said, my window of opportunity is really, really small for being able to talk to people. Very difficult. Um, so. Um. Is Genesis a part of the Old Testament? Yes. Yes. Um, question. Have you heard that fruit is the best way to put your body through detox? God gave man to eat of the fruit in Genesis 129, also herbs. Yeah, there's some good aspects to, to fruit, you know, and the, and the herb bearing seed, you know, things. The seed of fruit is also quite good. They'll tell you, oh, it's got, you know, can't, it'll give you a cyanide or something like this, you know. Um, we eat apples, wild apples from our property, and we eat the seeds as well. And people say, oh, there's poison in it, whatever. Yeah. You know, we do just fine on it. We eat a lot of it. Actually grind it all up, just raw applesauce is what we make. Add some Camu Camu powder or um, put some yogurt with it or raw honey and things like that. Or just eat it as it is. It's really good stuff. Um, so, but yeah, it definitely detoxes things. You know, I just want to say here too, I'm seeing people, you know, asking about the thing of the Skype or contact or whatever else. And the guy earlier um, about, you know, coming out with some of the stuff against Anderson and whatever else. Um, you know, I, I had to remove my contact information years and years ago uh, from my website and whatever else. I mean, we have a ministry phone number and I don't give it out on the website just because some of the weird people that are after me and, and things and just just a lot of people contacting. And I mean, I'm just it's me and my wife and my son and that's it. And this this thing has really gotten a lot you know, bigger than I ever thought it would. And so to be able to answer people, I mean, I used to, I used to get, oh boy, I forget what it was. Something, I forget, something right around, I think 600 emails a day or something crazy like that. I mean, it was, it was just nuts for a while. And so I finally just said, okay, I can't come close to answering all this stuff. So I had to just forget the email thing. So I know it's difficult, but you know, the only way to really contact me correctly would be through the post office. And, and I mean, I, I have difficulty even getting to that stuff. So it's just, yeah. Question, will you be posting any more healthy foods, recipes in the near future? Well, that's, that's a good question. We have shifted our techniques of cooking um, from the modern, you know, electric cook stove to actually off grid wood cook stove. So it's going to be kind of a little bit challenging to, to say recipes that I make now um, and how to convert that to how people out there could, you know, cook it with modern, you know, ranges and whatever else, be it propane or electric or whatever. But that, that might be something I'll do in the future. We'll see. Question, any scripture references regarding effectual prayer? I've been struggling with prayer and can't seem to get into consistent prayer life. Well, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The Bible talks about that. You just do a word study on prayer or praying or pray. Things like that is what I would recommend. Question. Have you heard of the music group Salos? 
they have paraphrased and put Romans, Hebrews, and Jude to music. The composer does read from new versions, but the music is very good, blending many styles. Well, if they're using new versions, not interested. Um, question, who can burn the harlot and also go to war with the lamb? Ten horns of Daniel, Revelation, Antichrist will come from Turkey, Islamic country. So do you think the ten horns are ten Islamic nations? I don't know. I don't know. It could be, too, that, the uh, you know, the European nations actually rise up and go against the Vatican. You know, that would be another way I would say that there's a possibility of that. Um, comment. A mixture of ginger, garlic, purple onions, radishes, lime juice, and raw honey. A tea or tablespoon of the mixture in the morning and at night boosts the immune system. I'm sure it probably does. Um, the virus is not a hoax, the pandemics. The pandemic, it is a hoax. Your body fabricates viruses to get rid of poisons, toxins. Yeah, I'm looking into that issue. I actually ordered the book, the, the one that the brother, Sean, I think his name was, um, was originally from Trinidad. He said about this thing of the, um, um, the book about, you know, the, I forget what it's called. Um, they're lying to you about the viruses or something. I forget what the thing's called, but I ordered a copy and just got this notice from Amazon. Well, you know, we can't ship it right away. So it's going to be about a month till we can ship it. So, and, and this virus thing is just so ridiculous. You know, just crazy. Question, should we leave behind some left behind material? If we should, what should it include? Well, the King James Bible, first and foremost, um, a letter explaining what, you know, don't take the mark, you know. Um, you know, um, it, it's going to be kind of rough because, uh, you know, the 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 system is going to be so hard to live in, you know, uh, at that time, it's, it's going to be pretty much impossible. Um, so, I mean, I think people are going to have to make up um, their mind if they're going to go out as a martyr or if they're going to uh, try to survive. Surviving is going to be really tough in that time. Okay. Okay, serious question. No conspiracy here, but you think this was a deliberate bioterror attack or a blatant wet market's food consumption? Um, oh, it's just bringing in the mark of the beast. It's bringing in the cashless system. Destroy the economy. Destroy people's lives. It's going to lead to riots and, and all kinds of really bad times this summer, I believe. Question, do you think that the tomb of Jesus in Jerusalem is the actual places that Jesus was buried? Probably not. Um, I just got an Oxford facsimile 1611 KJV Bible, 400 years edition. Do you have any of these, this facsimile Bible? I think I might have one in my collection. I think somebody sent me one. Um, um, question, your thoughts on a May rapture? Yeah, the, the thing of Pentecost, the end of May. I don't know. Be nice. Trying to save a very close friend of mine, though he's been a Catholic most of his life. He keeps talking of the unpardonable sin. Been difficult to witness to them. Any advice? Um, well, just take him through the thing of, of you know, I mean, the, if he's saying that he thinks he might have committed the unpardonable sin, um, just simply say, well, the unpardonable sin is when Jesus Christ was on the earth because he's God. So he's saying they were attacking the spirit that Jesus was speaking by. And Jesus said that that's the unpardonable sin. Um, what you're saying about me is one thing. But if you're attacking the spirit because Jesus Christ was completely holy God. Well, you know, as a Christian, we can say things that aren't always Holy Spirit led. And so somebody attacks us or whatever else. Well, OK, it's not the same thing as attacking God manifest in the flesh. So they haven't, it's not possible for them to commit the unpardonable sin. I have a study on that if you want to watch that. 
the Swedish Christian Zionist. Have you seen the video remix that went viral of Kenneth Copeland's sermon on COVID-19, aka the wind of God? It's actually quite hilarious. <laughs> I can imagine. Copeland is such a nut. I mean, a guy just, you know, he's got these eyes. Just, 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 I mean, oh, man, the guy just is so creepy. Um, I should probably watch that. It probably would be funny. Um, is it possible that Robert Breaker could be a Jesuit? No idea. Um, brother Ryan, I have to go now. Check out my video. Would like your feedback. I probably made a few mistakes. Take care, brother. Yeah, I'll, I'll check into it. Yeah, you know, I'm not. I'm not saying that the Muslims aren't part of things and whatever else. They they definitely are. Um, I don't know. I'll check into it. Um, comment that is what I consider blaspheming the spirit basically rejecting the gifts of God is that what you were saying um, you can make that argument but I think in the thing of uh, you know the unpardonable sin that cannot be forgiving you Jesus says in this world or in the world to come you know um, I, I do it I, I have it in my study I get, get into all the scriptures there so I can't get into everything right now but it's just I think it's when Jesus Christ is physically on the earth, um, people attack that spirit, then that's the unpardonable sin. Because you do something now, um, Paul said, you know, who's before a blasphemer, he was blaspheming the Lord, um, certainly as a lost man, and yet God forgot, forgave him. So. So, Garimos, can you say hello to my wife, Tyler? We're, we've been big fans of your video for a long time. Well, praise the Lord, that's good to hear. And hello to Tyler. Um, yeah. Um, okay, well, I'll try to take care of it if you want me to. Yeah, if you can. I'm going to be done here before real long. My wife there need to handle it something real quick. But uh, Hi, Brian. Does God send the plague? I assume you mean the uh, coronavirus thing. Ultimately, yes. Because the world's rejected Jesus Christ, the world is wicked. So the Lord's going to allow wicked men to... Um, you know, do evil things unhindered. So, okay. Well, excuse me. I guess that's probably going to be it. I should probably get going here. Um, Trying to make sure I'm getting new people coming along here. Hey Brian, what do you think about Seventh Day Adventism? It's false. I have a I have a um, video about seven the um, uh, Sabbath day or I'll have to check into that thing. Sunday or Sabbath day, I think is what it's called. Um, let me just check it real quick here. Sunday or Sabbath day or Sunday is what it's called. Okay. And I get into the things that Seventh day Adventist and the whole thing there. Um, I don't know if I, st I was trying to think here. What the un
Huh. Okay. Um, I'm wrong on that unpardonable sin thing. Oh, no. No. Okay. There it is. It's called uh, The Unpardonable Sin. It's a sermon I did. It's an audio sermon I did. Um, put the link here. I don't think anybody else has yet. So here's the link to the unpardonable sin thing. And there's, you know, yeah. So it's an old one I did many years ago. So, um, but yeah, I'm probably going to get going here. But just uh, everybody out there, just stay strong in the Lord and, and uh, you know, witness when you can. And um, so that's going to be it. And uh, we'll see everybody in upcoming videos and things. I've got a bunch more stuff i got to get done here today. So I think I'm going to get, um, I'll just answer one more here. Do you think things will go back to the way they were before COVID-19? Will we live under more control from government now? Um, I think it's really kind of up to the people at this point in time. In other words, the, the reaction that people have, uh, whether people just simply say, you know, hey, I'm not I'm not going to submit to this. You know, I think, you know, it's never going to go back to the way it was before because people are now scared and they're they're just waiting for the next big thing. And the government did this little test, this mind control test. The governments of the world, not just America, but all governments have done this test and they've seen that they can scare people. Um, so it's never going to go back to the way it was before. Uh, and the economy has been really seriously hurt now. So. Um, so we just, you know, the, the best thing to do is just witness to people and uh, hope and pray for the catching up of the body of Christ. So that is going to be it. Thank you everybody out there for watching. Thank you for your support. And uh, we'll be bringing out more videos in the future. And um, so some interesting studies coming out. And uh, just keep us in your prayers, please. That's going to be it. Thanks for watching.